Thanks to Lark for sponsoring this video. Hey, welcome back. So I caught a cold. You'll have to deal with this raspy voice of mine, but I think it's worth it as we have a pretty cool video lined up for today. We're again looking at desk setup accessories. These are my favorite kinds of videos. Even as a watcher, I've always enjoyed the discovery aspect of these videos. It's always the impression of coming across a new accessory that'll be game changing for your desk setup. And I do hope you'll have one of those haha -ha moments in this video as we're up for some pretty cool desk accessories, specifically today with this premium edition. And if you know of any accessories that I should look at and consider featuring on the channel, please let me know down below. I'm always on the lookout for those. All right, let's dive in. First in line today is the Vigim LS21, an all-in-one desk arm solution for all your multimedia peripherals. You get an arm for your microphone, webcam, lamp, and more. There's even a laptop tray. You get everything you need in the box, including three side arms plus one boom arm, perfect for a microphone so it's closer to you without taking vital space on your desk. There's even a ball head, similar to what you'd find on a small tripod, which is great to angle your light or level your camera. It's composed of a main pole that clamps to your desk, and it's worth noting it accommodates pretty thick desktops too. Then, all three arms can be locked onto the pole on both sides and at various heights. I do have to say that the laptop tray wobbles a bit too much to my taste, and thus I didn't use it, but for all other accessories, this set of arms feels super sturdy. The side arms can be extended as they're composed of two moving sections, and at the end you can find standard tripod screws. Finally, the boom arm for the microphone slides in at the top of the pole. It swivels but can also be locked in place if desired. This one is metal but with plastic locking joints, so I wouldn't put some of the heaviest microphones on it, but it's perfect for a shotgun microphone, such as the Rode VideoMic Go 2. It's also worth noting that the locking joints are spring-loaded to compensate for the mic's weight when moving. So yeah, if you want a solution to have all your gear at the right place with minimal desk space being taken, the LS21 by Vegim is a very capable solution. I wouldn't recommend the laptop tray, but everything else feels super high quality. Next up is the Lark Purvis Pitcher and the sponsor of today's video. You might think a pitcher is a bit of a stretch as a desk accessory, but I think it's fair to say most of us should drink more water every day, and having an actual pitcher nearby is an excellent way to improve on that. All of that while having high quality and great tasting water at an arm's reach. You fill it up in the morning and bring it with you at your desk, put it in the fridge over lunch and bring it once again to end the day. And this isn't just a pitcher, it actually packs a lot of tech. First, it features a plant-based filter that gets rid of many contaminants found in tap water, such as lead, chlorine, pesticides, and other forever chemicals. Not only it improves the health aspect of water, but it greatly improves the taste as well. I thought my tap water at home tasted pretty neutral, but when I drank from the Lark Purvis pitcher, I realized it's not the case. The water from this pitcher is completely neutral tasting. Then, it also comes with Lark's Purvis UVC LED purification technology, which deactivates contaminants at the molecular level. This process activates automatically, both on refill, but also every 6 hours to prevent bacteria growth after the water has been filtered. And this is a sizable advantage compared to traditional filtered pitchers, the Lark Purvis pitcher is continuously sanitized. Finally, the pitcher also pairs with the Lark app, which allows hydration tracking, again, great to optimize water consumption, and the app also tracks the filter's lifespan, so you don't have to guess when it's time to replace it. But if you want to improve this solution by a notch, you'll want to add Lark's Purvis insulated bottle to your water setup. Leave the pitcher in the fridge and fill up your bottle instead, which keeps water cold for up to 24 hours and hot for 12 hours. With the same UVC LED water purification tech, it'll keep water sanitized the same way the pitcher does after being filtered. I would totally use this at a desk, especially with the Purvis technology. With regular reusable bottles, a daily manual cleaning routine is required to prevent bacteria from growing. With Purvis, this daily routine can be pushed to 3 to 4 weeks instead, allowing you to leave your bottle at your desk instead of bringing it back for cleaning every night. I want to thank Lark again for sponsoring this segment of the video, and I invite you to check out the Purvis pitchers and bottles. Links will be in the description. Next up is an item I featured in my last desk setup video, but I figured it definitely counts as premium, and I think it's quite unique given its feature set. It's the Escrono Vertical Docking Station for MacBooks. 
They make them for most of the current and last generation of MacBooks, and they're quite powerful. It's made out of aluminum, giving it some weight, and it looks super sleek. I just wish they made them in silver instead of only space gray. There's also an inner plastic sleeve to slide it in, and the best part is that it lines up perfectly with the connectors, so you don't need to wiggle it into place. This one for the 14-inch M1 Pro MacBook Pro has two Thunderbolt 4 compatible USB-C ports and one MagSafe port for fast charging. Effectively, it replicates the ports found on the left side of the 14-inch MacBook Pro. This vertical docking station will save space on your desk and make connecting to your workstation a breeze, as you can just slide it in and connect two Thunderbolt cables at once. It also greatly improves how your setup looks, as it gets rid of loose USB-C cables or dongles on your desk. And we're following with a product in the same vein, but for the iPad Pro. This is an all aluminum stand for the iPad Pro, and it too feels super premium. So, as I said, the base and vertical piece are both aluminum, making this bottom heavy, which is nice to compensate for the weight of the iPad when installed. Then, the mounting surface is also aluminum, but with a silicone sheet all over to make sure it doesn't scratch the iPad. This mounting surface also hides magnets at the same location as the iPad's back, and this is how the iPad mounts to the surface. No clamps, no lips, just magnets. And these are very strong, like, there's no way it would fall on its own, it's actually quite hard to get it off. This mounting surface is attached to the stand with a ball mount, allowing you to angle the iPad the way you want, as well as rotate it 360 degrees. This ball mount can be easily removed from the stand, allowing you to use this partial stand as a way to prop up your iPad on a desk or table. Not sure I would personally use it like that, but it's there if you want it. My only gripe with this stand is the ball joint. I think it allows for too many positions, some of them undesirable. Removing the iPad requires a lot of force and you will mess up the angle and position of the top surface, so you can't really have this stand in a perfect position and always leave it as is. But hey, it's still a very cool iPad stand, the quality is there, and it looks super nice. Next up is a desk shelf by Grovemade, and you've seen these everywhere. Even I featured the matte black variant some time ago on the channel, but Grovemade recently came out with these smaller variants. They initially only offered the wider 46-inch variant, but they now have a 31.5-inch model, such as the one I have here, and an 18.5-inch variant too. This is very cool, as even for big desk setups, such as this 30 by 60 inch charcoal desk, you may not want a desk shelf that takes pretty much all the back of the desk. Here, I like that I can fit my LG dual up monitor and still have just enough space for speakers, leaving room on the sides for other accessories. These smaller shelves are also pretty cool to store a laptop, either on top, on the shelf, or under it. Finally, it matches incredibly well with this setup given its cork and white theme, and the silver shelf and tray complement the MacBook Pro well too. This is the matte white version of this shelf, where the top surface has this thick matte white coating, but it's worth noting that these two new sizes are also offered with their wooden versions, both the plywood and hardwood options. And last but not least, we have a premium mechanical keyboard to look at, a full aluminum, gasket-mounted, 60% mechanical keyboard. As with other keyboards from the Q series, it's QMK and VIA compatible, so you can remap keys and layers as you wish. There's also a physical Mac and Windows switch that switches between two VIA layers as the base, and I think it's genius. It's offered in three colors with matching keycaps, and those keycaps are pretty decent for included ones, being double shot and made from PBT. The plate and PCB assembly is held in the case using gaskets, so there's no hard contact, allowing it to move a bit. As with other Q keyboards from Keychron, it's a very solid value for the money if you don't want to spend too much and still get most of the high-end features found in expensive mechanical keyboards. 60% keyboards have a special place in my heart as they kicked off my channel at the time when I bought my first Poker 2 and Ant Pro keyboards. At the time, this layout wasn't popular at all as it doesn't have dedicated arrow keys, then popular streamers got everyone wanting 60% keyboards. And although this layout isn't as popular today, I still like my 60% keyboards. But if you don't, Keychron has a variety of Q-series keyboards with different layouts with pretty much the same features as this Q4. And that is the end of today's video. Let me know in the comments below which accessory picked up your interest. And if you know of other accessories I've never featured but you think I should, definitely let me know. I'm super interested in all of that. Alright, thanks for watching, make sure you leave a like if you enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, as I'll see you in the next video.